all you guys now are getting very, very close if, if you haven't already started getting out there and starting to work. Because we have this generation of New Zealanders coming through now that absolutely understand that the world is truly global. And I think we've been guilty from New Zealand over the last sort of 15 to 20 years of just thinking we're the small island and you have to go overseas to work to do really big things. And that's all changed. I think one of the interesting things about um, about Zero was we're actually trying to build a global technology business from New Zealand. It doesn't necessarily mean that we're a New Zealand based business. We think we are a global business, but our values come from New Zealand, but we hire the best people in each country. But yet the values that we bring, the attitude, the sense of humour from New Zealand goes right through the business. And even though our staff in Southern California are completely different to people in uh, the north of England, this kind of values that we created are creating this really neat kind of mini multinational global company. But I think what's happening now, when I think about it, there's no big hurry to do these things. Actually, what um, because in New Zealand you tend to start off with you know, a number of smaller deals, entrepreneurship is, is a series of baby steps. The good thing about doing things from New Zealand is um, it tends to be two or three steps. So by the time you get to do your big one, and this is my fourth or fifth business, you, you, you're actually quite ready. You have some of your own capital, you have great networks, you kind of want to do things for the right reasons. And I think we're starting to get now from New Zealand where we're actually doing some really significant, really big things. And the money that's in the network, um, we're starting to see what happened in Silicon Valley probably 30 years ago where there's people like you know, the Trade Me people investing in these startups. Startups. So I think we have, we'll see this accelerated uh, kind of life cycle where um, the businesses that are having success in New Zealand will make it easier to get funded and do, the, and do some really cool things. A really cool thing to do is to think about internal entrepreneurship first because I think when you're building your career, and I, and I was at Arthur Young and Ernst & Young uh, when I got started, just gives you some of those basic sort of skills and you actually see some, uh, some real business problems. And because... Um, uh, a lot of businesses in New Zealand are still doing things the old way. The contribution that you guys can make, being totally online, thinking globally from day one, can really help those companies. And then as you, you know, get more and more progress, hopefully most of you will have the opportunity to go out and build your own business. And we've got a lot of really smart people inside our business, and what I love is they're gaining the experience and uh, you know, eventually they'll all start to fragment out and, and do their own things, which is a natural life cycle. In terms of getting started, I think it, uh, that internal entrepreneurship was something that I did. So we started a software uh, development team inside Ernst & Young, and eventually we knew that doing, you know, there were no software companies to work for at that point. Um, and, if, and I'd been reading all the books about Silicon Valley, and um, so I did the internal entrepreneurship thing, and that was really good fun, and it gave a safe environment to learn things, and I think we altered the course of where Ernst & Young and the accounting firms went, but at the end of the day there weren't any software companies, so... Um, uh, we started one, and that's worked out all right. We, we've got offices now in 17 countries, and when you start a software company, uh, you certainly don't have global facilities manager in, in, in your business plan, but we have one of those. Um, we just opened up in Denver, New York, a uh, bunch of offices through Australia, two offices in the UK. We're about to commit to our fifth office in Wellington and uh, a third space in Auckland, um, pretty big up here as well. Uh, we've processed now, I think, over $300 billion through our platform. We're the, we're the leader in a market. We've only really just, we are only really now are just getting started. Um, 60, 70, 65% of our revenue is now offshore, and um, we're only really just getting started in uh, the US market. So what's super exciting is, um, you know, it feels like we're really just in sort of step two, and we've got another 10 big steps to go.